<laughs> All right, man. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? You Nothing. already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh. Man, all my subs have been waiting for this, man. You don't understand, man. <laughs> like the whole yeah, channel. Yeah, no, it, 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 was, uh, it was meant to be, man. It's, it's been a while, you know what I mean? And, and it, it's like, I left, came back, and it was like, man, you know, but you, you the only one that's been there, you know what I mean, with the balance. You yeah, know? yeah, so, yeah. yeah I, I'm grateful for that, you know? No doubt, man. Um. Why were you away for a while? My father had passed away. Oh, damn. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. No, last year. Yeah. So it was like the pandemic had just started. Right. And um, I had I had a lot of followers like everywhere. Instagram, uh, Twitter, everything. You know, I just deleted everything. I was I yeah. couldn't even if I would have stood and left it, it was, it was, you know, I needed some peace of mind. Right. I got you, man. I mean, I'm in the same boat, man. My mom passed away last year, last February. So yeah, I yeah. Took, sorry yeah. to hear it, man. Thanks. My father passed away January. Yeah. And, uh, so I took time off of YouTube, get my head straight, you know, so I, I definitely understand, man. Um, yeah. but, uh, these questions are going to be like pretty much about the show, stuff like that. All right. And you're gonna get no personal, nothing like that, you know. Yeah, all right, no, no problem. Um, these are pretty much questions that the guys want to know or my subs want to know. Um, so I guess we'll just start. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. no, definitely, definitely. All right. Um, let's see. I guess the first question is, what went through your mind when you was for sure that when your cover was blown? What went through my mind? Yeah. I want to say that how. I couldn't understand how they figured it out. So I was like, I was just more like, do they really know? Or yeah. just like, how did, how do they even know? Because I never told anyone, you know, I, I played the role to the end. Right. Never, never told my business not to none of the inmates, never confided with them, you know, or the, the, the correction officer. So in a way I was like, you know, how do I go from there to, you know, finding out who or what they know. Right. But then I just started more like reading body language and how they were moving. Mm -hmm. You know, like the congregating in there, it was uh, Tyrus, you right. know. And then when uh, B. Shaw came into the unit, it was like, he didn't go directly to, to he went to like Tyrus and them. It was, you know, like I found straight it like, away. Yeah, like yeah. kind of awkward. Like, okay. Like, hey, you just came in. Y'all wasn't that cool. And now all of a sudden, y'all cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then, um, yeah, and then um, Oni ended up going in the cell with them. So I'm like, hold up. Yeah. So it's, it's Oni in there, the head of the woods, in there with them. Like, what's going on? Right, And right. then it, was, it just unraveled from there. But I was more like, who, how? How did they find out, you know? I mean, I think we all know now. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, you no, that, I mean? <laughs> that's like, pretty much obvious. Yeah, like yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, oh, like pretty much at middle <laughs> at, at, at his findings. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking on that, there was a question about that. Uh, hold on, about David. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I should have put these in order. Nah, you good. You good. Yeah. Uh oh. Somebody want to know if you felt like putting hands on David for that. Man, listen, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I did. I yeah. did. But I figured, you know, when we was at, because they kept us away till for a couple months till the reunion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they specifically told them, stay away, whatever, you know, and I was fine. I was like, okay. Okay. And um, when uh the reunion came about, it was just me and Mark. Right. So it was like they had me with Mark all the time, and then everybody separated, like playing this mind game, like trying to like get everything riled up. But I already okay. knew what they were trying to do, A and E, right? The the producer. So at the reunion, he came in. So okay. I was like, Sheriff Lambs next to me, Lieutenant. I was like, ah, if I hit him, go down. <laughs> I might go to Rikers Island. I'm not going to Pinal County. I'm going to Rikers Island. Right, so, right. <laughs> C74 <laughs> Island going. So I'm like, 
wait a minute, let me just let me just fall back and I'm gonna let him talk because he's easy to manipulate. Right. The, so the same way the guards manipulated him and the inmate, he just broke down. So it's like, like he's more. It, it was more like you being with your homeboy. You go to the club and your your girl asks you, "Yo, was he with any girls?" Right. Well, and he don't know how to lie, and that's what happened. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. But I I did feel like I, I was like, you know what? Let me just let him tell the story, and he told it like it was. Yeah. No, no, yeah. it wasn't like that. Oh, well, how was it? Because yeah. it's right there. We're right in front of the TV. Because I never saw the footage. And I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> he was talking right. to the, <laughs> the CEO. But that CEO one time had told me, hey, what's up, New York? Like, oh. we knew. And I was like, wait a minute. How? What's going on, Brooklyn? Yeah, you know, and yeah. I'm like, I never even talked to you. You, you the police, like, yeah, like, how you know where I'm from? You know what I mean? How you know where I'm from? Yeah. But then it, it, I put two or two together at the end. I was like, wait a minute. And then when B Shaw went in the dorm, I was like, now it makes sense. Yeah. Now yeah. it all makes sense. God damn it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I wanted to go out with more of a bang, but. Yeah. Once everything was done and I, I pretty much tapped out, and I waited eight hours. I tapped out like at two in the morning, used yeah. the bathroom, you know, I ate whatever, because I didn't right. know what was going to go down. Right. And then they, they came in the morning and I was like, well, you know, just let me go back and, and I'm going to give you some more TV. I, let yeah. me put hands on somebody. <laughs> they're like, they're like, no, nah, we can't do that. That's a lawsuit. I'm like, yeah. well, what you mean? Like, <laughs> no, you tapped out already. And then, yeah. um, I guess they were hearing the audio from the telephones. Mm -hmm. They were like, they know, you know, because they had 30 cameras. Right, like, right. And some people were like, well, you know, you told. No, it was 30 cameras and 30 microphones, and they thought it was a documentary. Uh, this guy was just free talking, you know what I mean? And yeah. they told on themselves, every, right. every, every, besides, you know, the, the show. So the only thing that couldn't add up was the footage with Ikaika. So Ikaika didn't tell. You know what I mean? And A&E yeah. &E didn't release the footage from the fight. Okay. Because they had, they're had they on the contract, and that's why I didn't get charges pressed against me, even uh, though Ikaika wasn't going to tell. We already right, had right. gave dives and shook hands. I'm cool with him now. Everything's yeah. good, you know? How did it feel and, when you did that, though? Like When, you when I did him? that, because <laughs> yeah. he was facing some time. Okay. So, he was always confiding, yo, you know, he gave me his paperwork and I already knew what he was in there for, you know, and, and everything. But it was like, man, like you, you might be going to the, the big house, right? you know, and it's like, you're not acting right. So it was like more like, I, I wanted to tell him, hey man, I'm from a TV show, bro, I've been in prison, like right. stop, you know, I wanted to tell him. So it was more like the, not that I hated him or anything. It was doing more like that. Man, I can't tell you like that big brother. I yeah. want to tell you, but I'm under contract. And if I tell you, they're listening. Right, right. You, you know, I would have been another David. Like, yo, you you, you, you told the inmate what was going on. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. Because he would have he ran in and told everybody else. Oh, was, yeah, I see he was that type of dude, too. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. that, yeah. Oh, he would have been like, yo, man, he's from a show. Remember, they, got, they look at us like police in there. Right, right. So we could leave at any time and go eat a cheeseburger. So, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, it was more the frustration, but I felt bad afterwards. Like, man, like, yeah. well, he, he's doing good now. He's he's going into acting. He's in California. Oh, yeah. We might be doing an interview together. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I'm more cool with the inmates than the actual participants, believe it or not. Uh, I, I, well, actually, I can't believe that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, how, I mean. how some of them are, you know? Yeah, no, they good dudes, man. They're yeah, all yeah, around yeah. good dudes, yeah. man. It, it was like no rapists in there, no child molesters. Right. They, 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 they genuinely good dudes, man. Um, Somebody want to know if there was any kind of wild footage that they should have shown on the TV but didn't or yeah, stuff like yeah, that. They, yeah, there, there was there was some other footage that had jumped off. And I, I'll give you an example. Okay. When, when Steve came in, the mm -hmm. unit, right, the production team doesn't know that. I knew already off the bat because the inmates came in and said, 
yo, there was a guy in here asking for blow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually they actually sent two participants. Oh yeah. So there's actually a participant, and I'm not no longer on the contract, so it don't matter. Right. It was a it was a detective from Boston, bald headed, stocky. Yeah. He lasted he lasted about two meals. Oh damn! <laughs> I kid you not. He, they put him. With, Yo, I get on everything. <laughs> Everybody knows about this, but yeah. he was in my dorm, so I figured it out. They were like, how do you know? I was like, that guy came in asking for blow. Yeah. How do you even go into a county jail talking about who's got blow? Right. You're, like, you're straight police. Yeah, like, you make yourself hot doing that. Yeah. So he, he gave his food away, stocky dude, real clean shaving right. from Boston. From Boston right. Tapped out. Not even eight hours. Breakfast and lunch. He was oh. gone. Damn. That that footage they didn't show. Oh, the God. other footage that when Steve came in, Steve was on the phone. I heard him. I was like, man, he's gotta be from 60 days in. He fits, <laughs> he, he fits the profile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Steve didn't go in first. That's a lie. That okay. footage was, was edited. Steve went in after I was in already. Oh. And when he was on the phone, you know what I did? Oh. Grabbed the bed and went like this, the sheet. I didn't, <laughs> I was like, no, I don't even want him to see me because right. he was talking to inmates trying to figure out who was the other participant. Oh. So, oh, he would have snitched quicker than anybody yeah. else. Like, Damn. So that footage, another footage that they didn't show was Nate. We had a meeting with Nate, you know, oh, rest yeah? in peace. Yeah, they, I, I don't know why they didn't release it. It was a good huh. meeting, all of us there. Yeah. Um. There was another incident too, but I guess because of the policy of the jail, they didn't, they didn't put that footage out. Okay. And a couple of the incidents with with you know they mostly took the bad parts about me. Right. To make to make it a movie, you gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because I wasn't figuring out how to do time. I was figuring out how do I take situations and and make. It looked like a prison situation, which right. you already know. It would have never went down like that. No, nah, in a nah. real prison, it would have right. been quiet. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> half the time you're just bored and just sitting around. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So it, it it was more. I was trying to understand how their politics work over there in that jail. Oh, okay. Okay. Which was 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 like a little backwards, but there was another incident too with an older guy. There was a couple that they could have used, but I guess. We never had contact with those inmates, so it really didn't fit for TV. Wow. You know, for the whole, they pretty much made it about what's Abner doing. And it was right. crazy. The production team would come in and it was like, I'm like, man, go interview somebody else. Like, <laughs> and the inmates were asking me, the Chicanos asking me for permission to talk to the production. Really? Yeah, so Damn. they were like, yo, you, you think it's all right? Yeah, man, go ahead. They're cool people, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> and they will go, <laughs> but I said in my mind, like, man, I'm doing your job, like, right, <laughs> you know. But <laughs> that's that's how loyal they are to to the system, you know. Okay. Like, they don't believe in telling, and they then they went in there, each inmate trying to make a movie, but they they Andy took what they wanted. They that Boston guy, they should have put him out there. Them eight hours he was in there. Uh, I was like, yeah, no idea there was another participant, man. Yeah, yeah, That's nobody, wild, man. Yeah, <laughs> nobody knows. There was a ball, ball head detective from Boston. Eight Damn. hours he lasted, two meals, uh, breakfast and lunch. He was in my dorm. Mm. And uh, hopefully one day they'll show that footage because yeah. pretty much they already much played out showing footage. They need to show what they have, it, you know? Right, have some behind the scenes stuff or something, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I wouldn't mind, you know. Uh, um, do you regret involving yourself in uh, prison politics so quickly? I, I I regret it, and I don't regret it. That's that's a tough question, right? Yeah. There. Because if I would have not involved myself quickly, then people would have looked at me like, "Man, he's a punk. He's done right. time before, and he's acting like like." Like a punk, man. Like you brand know, like, new and shit. Yeah, like yeah. brand new. Like he's just trying to make his money and go home. And I could have because right. I watched other seasons, you know, and I'm not going to put other people out there, right. but I've seen dudes just skeet on through the season. Yeah. Like, yeah. like let me not, you know, but I was more like, now I understand it. And a lot of the, I do regret it and I don't, but I uh -huh. think 
I think as from a from a New Yorker point of view, I do kind of regret it because. But then again, I'm not doing time with them. I'm just right. there. I got paid to do a job, so I did my mission. You know. Right. So so that's a a, a more going towards a a no. Like like I don't regret it. Like now, okay. all the kids I've helped and they look at me and you know. I, it's even the other day. You see, you you were the one that clicked me off to TikTok. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you saw the TikTok I put, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, this is what like two three days ago, and I found that TikTok. One of the the younger participants, I mean, uh, fans, younger mm. kid. He was like, "Yo, man, this dude. I don't know. If he's trying to disrespect you or or what? No, man. not but at look all. What he did. No, but I was mm. like, no, that's actually kind of funny. So." Yeah. I went in there and I opened an account because I, I didn't. My other account was deleted. Right. So I I put it in there and I put that one clip and a couple clips of me. And I turn around and come back. I'm like, man, I got eighty five thousand followers. Like, <laughs> what the heck? Like in like six hours. Bro. Yeah. And then from there now, <laughs> it's over a hundred thousand followers. And nice. It, it's like. They were there. Those fans and those people are there, and they yeah. deserve more. But I want to give you big ups for that because you don't want to <laughs> open the door for, for TikTok strip trolling. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, speaking of pay, can you talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all the all all of us got to pay about around as much, but I want to say. It was roughly around a thirty-five thousand dollar for each one. Thirty-five. But I was I was given a bonus. Okay. On on top of that, before I went in. So, so you got paid thirty-five thousand. A little more than than that. Then, than the, oh, okay, the rest. Okay. Everybody got like thirty-five, and some of them will be like, "Yo, this and that," but I, I got paid more. That's so what. So what happens when you tap out? You don't get that, or no? You what? get it. You you get it. You get like, it. Like, cause you know, from season this past season, you some you had somebody just tap out right at intake. Yeah, no, you you don't get. This is the thing. They pay you partially per week. Okay. So if you're not in there that week, so they pay you like twenty five hundred or whatever every week. Right. So if you don't complete that whole week, you don't get paid. But oh. I didn't tap out. My technicality was I didn't tap out because I wanted to. Right. I tapped out because you decided to make this season. Let's all meet. And now that everybody is Everybody knows part. everybody. <laughs> you yeah. <know> what I mean? <laughs> so it was like, it, 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 you should have sent me by myself. You should yeah. let me be, be the covert like Steve. Right, right. <laughs> but you sent Steve in there and he did a whole movie on the phone. Oh, get me out of here. I was like, yo, this got to be the dude for 60 days. This got to be the other participant because the other one had left already. So I was like, I'm good because I don't got to be worrying about watching the participants back. I'm like, right. nah, I'm just freestyling. I'm like, I'm doing me. No, the, the enforcer. I mean, like, you yeah, know? the enforcer, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, man, they like, man, you need anything to eat? Yeah, man, I'm hungry, man. Let me get that. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, <laughs> so, so the, the, you know how I do it, time is, so the perks came with it, because I'm like, man, these, these these guys are brand new. They really not right over the war material, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and they was good dudes, man. They was good dudes. The only one I could say in it that was real stand-up was Oni. He, okay. he pled guilty to nine years, you know, mm -hmm. so... With him, I tread it lightly because I already knew he didn't have too much to lose. But right. th there was actual footage where I dabbed him, hugged him. I was like, man, I, I know that feeling, bro. And yeah. I honest, he knew genuinely that I was honest about me telling him I know that feeling about pleading guilty. I pled guilty to seven years. Right. So he, he was pleading guilty to nine. And, you know, and I was in the feds. They sent me to a max, to Lewisburg okay. Penitentiary. Right. Not... Not camp with headphones and the golf course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and Ain't none of that. It was that they was like over the wall. This dude's violent. Right. So, right. <laughs> you yeah, know, Lewisburg up there. <laughs> oh yeah, Lewisburg yeah. is off the hook. And I was mm -hmm. there when it was the big house. Now it's oh, yeah. like the SHU. They they have different programs now, but it's still uh, popping Lewisburg. Yeah. But with with Oni, I want to say he was more. There's another inmate too. 
you know, he he rehabilitated, he went to rehab, and I'm real good with him, real close to him. Tommy Two, Tommy, mm -hmm. the one I used to call Tommy Two Gun, the little skinny one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, he died of cancer Damn. about last year. He died. Damn. So, so I was more cool with the inmates. I was more okay. We're done. Um. Uh. Well, I guess this is a good one because they're trying to compare. I don't know if they're trying to compare you and Tony, but uh. If David didn't mess things up and they asked you to stay, would you admit yeah. it? Would yeah, you get another six I, days? I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. When they came to me on the last interview, right, mm. they were like, do you want to do 120 days? Okay. They, they off the rip, swear to God. So I said, well, move me to another pot because, you know what I mean? I, just make it a scenery or whatever and boom, move me to another yeah. pot. And, um, well, if we move you to another pod, because it was only another inmate pod with cameras, the other ones were inmate that didn't sign waivers. So they would have ended up moving me with David and, and right. Mark. Right. So it was like, there was no way of me doing 120 days, but I was willing to do it because I'm like, I'm going to get paid double. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And on that part, I used to get compared to Nate. You know what I mean? Okay. So. A lot of people tend to now not compare me to Nate, you know, and and I got nothing but love for him. I, yeah. I texted him before he passed away, and, and I'm not here to judge or anything of what happened, you know. But right. I, I can honestly say he was he was a good human being, a good dude. I know I don't have anything against him. And now people, since Tony came out, that came out. But there's another thing that people don't realize. There was a show called Narcoland. Right. I signed an NDA to do Narcoland. You oh, remember really? it was like a it was like a flop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I signed the NDA. It, it's not hard to go cop a bag of dope or whatever. Right. It's not hard. Like I, I could go anywhere, put a hat on, yo, yo let me get a bag of boogie, man. You yeah, got you know, yeah, yeah. take or whatever. <laughs> so yeah. it's not hard for me. So they had made me sign the NDA and never hollered at me. So like hmm. two months later. Boom, they spit it. Narco land. So I'm watching it. I'm like, man, this is crap. Yeah, this is like nobody man. liked it, man. I'm like, nobody. this is like a whole movie. They do yeah. it too much. Yo. I'm like, come <laughs> on, bro. Stop. Stop. You're not. These are little dope yeah. fees. Calm down, man. Like, leave these little addicts alone. So I was like, I figured, like, wow. So they took that away from me. Cool. Right. And then season six came about. Okay. So it, it was like kind of boring at first because I watched the whole season. All of them was, was selling wolf tickets. Yeah, yeah, except, yeah. Except Tony. Right. So Tony made it. Tony was like more the season six save the show. But I'm going to tell you right now, production straight out told me when I was doing the show mm -hmm. and it was like the first week, they were like, no, none of them doing nothing. Right. They were like, Mark's over there preaching to God, the Bible. Yeah. David's over there. He's Hercules. The girl's <laughs> over there twinkling and doing their nails and whatever they yeah. were like they, nothing no excitement so i was like all right you want me to turn it up i'm gonna turn it up well, i got you <laughs> I, I got, I got yeah. you. so then when i turned it up they were yeah. like well Abner, calm down you know? <laughs> <laughs> be easy you're not really in jail <laughs> so, so i was like which one is it because <laughs> yeah. yeah. they all sign waivers you know right <laughs> so I'm, I'm like all right so i'll slow down so at the end when that happened i was like I kid you not, I, I was about to swing on, but something told me, like, just fall back. Yeah. Because my, my mind started going back, like, nah, you at home, you're on an acre and a half, you got a home, <laughs> beautiful family. Nah, right, right. Like, nah. It ain't worth know, losing that, no. Nah. No ramen noodles, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I would say from watching all the seasons, right, um, the real ones, and they know who they are. You know what I mean? I want to say Johnny, you know, mm -hmm. and um, Johnny is on his part, that one, and Ryan. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, they're real dudes. You know what I mean? Tony did what he had to do, because I understand the pressure that the, the production team puts on you. 
they got, so they're they, trying to do it for TV. They got to give you something. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they, they paying you. Like, yeah. you can't pay what somebody gets paid in a year. Right. In, in a few weeks. So I want to say that me comparing myself to Tony, I, I, I would never do that because it was two different seasons, two different prisons, two, right. two different jails, two different missions. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, do, I, do I know the guy? Does he, you know, whatever, how they edit it? I want to say... He had a better start than me because I didn't. He, he didn't have to meet the other participants. Right, he went in by himself. Yeah, yeah. I was pretty much yeah. hung, hung from the from the the from jump. The ceiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> from the the vent. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, man. Yeah. Um, so you've answered a lot of these actually. Um. Um, uh, has anybody tried to reach out to you since you got out or, you know, from any of the inmates? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I holler right now at about four inmates. You okay. know, two of, them, two of them I have social media. One of them's going through addiction. I actually prayed for him, you know, and cried with him. Good dude. Okay. And the other one, he's he pretty much had a little DUI, went home. He's doing good, too. He's in church. And uh, Tyrus, he's on my page. We just okay. did a, a, a interview because I wanted to fly out to um, to Arizona and right. do all of us do an interview. But um, Ikaika ended up going to California, so right. he's doing good. He's doing good. He's about to become an actor. That's you know, good. they they generally, I, I I I'm more cool with, with real inmates than yeah, yeah, participants. You know what I mean? Like, definitely. cause everybody had their ego. So right. if you're, you're a cop, you got the cop mentality. If, if you're a nurse, you got the nurse mentality. If, right. Vice versa. You know what I mean? So it's like when you're, you have a past, you, you can relate to them. It's yeah. almost like, like an addict in recovery. And you're like, yo man, I know, I know that feeling, bro. Like, you know, I relapsed too. So it was like, I relate with them more, and they, and they get it. I did it right. to to bring a message, not not for anything else, you know. Right, right. Um, did you like how the show made you look with all the editing and everything? That, the harshness of it, yeah, yeah. Because you you can't just say to some tell somebody, hey man, don't go to prison. Right. Like you had to that like, literally tell them like, you know, hey man, you got an effort, you know, you, you gotta Try to get it through their heads, man. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, and even with, with, with Brian, Brian follows me too. He's doing good too, you know. And all of them. So I have I'm friends with actually all of them. You mm -hmm. know, the only one is Oni because he's obviously, you know, doing uh time yeah. in uh Arizona. Right. But uh I, I would say, man, like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't regret them, them, okay. them doing that. Because if, if they didn't edit it like that, they could have just edited it to make me look soft. You know, yeah. even though even though I was never in there like, hey, man, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm not going to try to put nobody on blast. But right. there was a couple yeah. that were, hey, man, I want to go. Yeah, like, I'm going to keep it, it I can believe it. You know, and I was like, "Yo, uh, fall back, man. We got we got paid for something here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it gets to you mentally in there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there any other season that you might have been on other than what you know the season you did? Because I feel like you could have did probably any other season also. Yeah, but, the, the the one season that I would have probably liked to been on, and, and I want to say, if I would have, if I would have, I'll give you a scenario. If I was ever one of the Cody fending or do time with a cellmate, a bunkie, it would be Johnny. It would be Johnny because okay. he's more like more that. I get it. I get it. I'm a convict. This is what you got to do. You yeah. know, he was. He wasn't trying to, you know, and he understood it. You know what I mean? Because he comes from a, a family in that background. Right. It would it would have been more easier with him me saying, "Yo, Johnny, check this out. 
I'm about to go start a fight over this. Watch the door. He's yeah. the type that would have been like, all right, let's go. Yeah. I, I watched the door for you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's the type. Meaning anyone else, they would have been like, hey, man, dude, like, no, nah, man, like, no, nah, Yeah, bro, chill man. out, man. Yeah, we're going to jail for real. Yeah. Like, nah. <laughs> They're going to put us in solitary and shit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, man, don't talk about solitary. You already... <laughs> That that robber was was what got me. You know, people actually thought that 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 TikTok was robber. I was like, no, really? that's me. They were like, <laughs> how the heck? You don't see the head, man? Is that's not you? No, man. <laughs> it took me a couple of days to make that uh, video. No, it came out good, man. Yeah. It came out good. Everybody loved it. That's what started the TikTok. So. I went on, on on your page. I was like, hold up. Like, wait a minute. Is this him? <laughs> All right. I was like, if anything, Drops ain't going to be doing really no dancing in, no. In, uh, around me. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I was like, this this got to be him. And I took it, and I was like, that's what started the, the TikTok trend now. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm officially a, a, a TikTok uh, star, like they say. Anything yeah. over 100,000, yep. you're... you're yep. TikTok star. <laughs> um, well, I know, I mean, we because I get people all the time ask me if there's another season. I'm pretty sure you don't know either. You know what I mean? But if yeah, they do I, make one, I'm pretty they, sure they I, are. You know? Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll most likely do one, but I would say with COVID and everything, yeah. I, don't, I don't think for a minute, I think they're on stall. So if they do do something, my guess would be like them reaching out and saying, let's do like uh, something, all everybody get together, all the good ones from the season. And, and, and I'm the type of person that I sit there and I study things. Yeah. And from what, what a and has been posting, like all the individuals, like me, Tony, and you know, mm-hmm. I'm like, wait a They've minute. They've been doing why? that a lot lately. Yeah. Right. Somebody so I'm like, because <laughs> one thing about it, a and they, they're about business. Right. So if you're not pulling up numbers, they, they don't even want you there. So they're right. not going to do a, a post about, you know, about Joe Blow and Joe Blow only got 10 viewers. So they're right. like, they're analyzing like, well, we're not going to get too many viewers winning because people go to what they like watching, you know, right. and they pretty much made me, you know, and a lot of people that, that even tell me, you know, and I humble myself, but some people tell me like, Yo, 60 Days In was dead till you came around. Right. Like, they made you and woke it back up from what it used to be. Like, it was dead. So everybody, you know, and they made me the face of 60 Days In. Pretty much, yep. Yep. Literally, you go on Netflix. It's my face (laughs) on it. Which, man, they could have paid me for that too. But, hey, you know, I'm not mad. (laughs) But, But it's like, at first, I didn't like the fame, but... I want to say that if they are going to do something, it's going to be something unorthodox, but good for the viewers. Like, keep them, like, knowing more of the fans. And right. this is why I came back to social media, because, man, people found me everywhere. I don't even know how the heck. <laughs> like, and I would be like, what, what do you mean? No such such ask for you. And it was real fans that's been there for years. Right. Since the beginning. Right. You know, so they deserve more. I want to say... If they're not gonna do another season, send me to Alaska. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Let's let's go with some Eskimos or something. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> they don't know me there. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it was a good one. I thought I marked it. Uh. Oh. Um. Okay, with you participating in 60 Days In, did it affect your life as a pastor? And do did it make people look at you differently? You know what yeah, I want mean? to I, I want to say this was the thing with me, right? Because I'm a, I was a chaplain. Chaplain is a little different. Chaplains okay, okay. they they minister to all. So okay. a chaplain prays, goes to a hospital, or prison, prays for Muslims, Buddhists, whoever it is. So we just pray to a higher power. That's okay. what a chaplain does. So I was doing that, and I got advice from pastors, okay. you know, and, bish- and bishops. Yeah, do the show. It's good. But once the show aired, it was like, why would you do that? Right. So I'm like, wait a minute. So now you're bashing me because of the show. And then COVID happened. Right. So it was like, 
man, like, but, and I left social media, but it made me realize who's real and who's not. Because a lot of people think because you're Christian, you're real. Nah, they're the right. first hypocrites. They're the first hypocrites. And I, and, and I'm talking about Christians that are verified. Right. And I right. even posted a couple pictures of Christians that are verified singers and everything. But th- some of those kept it real. Some of them just kind of like, you know, they just yeah. envy. It affected me to the point, it didn't affect me, it affected me the fame. So okay. now I know how to handle it. So I'm pretty much quick to block, quick to ignore. And I'm mm. sure you know this too. You you yeah. you, you got you got your 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 podium and yeah, you, I, deal with I learned, lot. right, yeah, yeah. So I learned to keep my personal life, like even when I'm out in public, people recognize me. And and it's crazy how yeah. much they recognize me. But I'm cautious. So I tell my wife. My son, just go ahead, walk in front of me. My family's in front. They already know the routine rather than sit there and be like, if somebody's going to do something to me. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to put them in harm's way. Right. Be- because you never know. They just, I- I've got a whole family stalk me at Walmart. Damn. Like, they'll be in the, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. Who's going? and I'll reach all the way to the cashier. And as soon as I say, how much is that? As soon as I open my mouth, I told you it was him. I told, Damn. and it's my my voice that that <laughs> that gives it away. They, they know, you know it. <laughs> yeah, they know it. So I mean, I don't I don't regret it. I don't I don't. I mean, it it, it didn't really affect me. If anything, it made me spiritually stronger because when I left, it took time when my father passed away, which right. he was a past a pastor in the Bronx. He died pastoring. And it was the beginning of COVID. You know what I mean? Right. Like people didn't understand. They would go to church. So my father actually caught COVID from someone in the church Dang. and Dang. died 21 days later. So Dang. it's like, you know, and, and they will never understand that part. Cause my, my dad was a pastor all his life. You right. know what I mean? But I was a chaplain. And hopefully now I'll get my badge back and I'll be able to go back to the prisons and you know, but now I, I accept this 60 days in, and I think 60 days in is more my church now. Okay. So, okay. Because I could freestyle with it and you know, yeah. because you, you can't push religion on people. You just gotta be real, man. Right, like, right. You you can't just be like, hey man, I'm a saint. I don't commit sin. No, we all sin. We, you know? And that's, I, I think it made me spiritually stronger and on, on a level that it can't no no pastor fool me, you know like right. nah, I, I I see right through. And what a lot of people don't realize, when I did the show, I prayed and and, and fasted for thirty days bef- before I even went in there. So I was mentally prepared already spiritually. Okay. It was not like in there like yo hold up let me, <laughs> yeah. let me get a let me get a fade and right, right. push push my edge up back and no I I. I already knew that that I was well protected all the way to the end of the show, you know. Nice man. That leads to another question, then, because that this is a good one. This person want to know if you're doing anything to help incarcerated people in your area after all the talk you did on the show about wanting to help people. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I was doing, and I, I'll I'll tell I'll say this right. I have a YouTube clip, right? I'm mm-hmm. an author of two books. And a lot of people don't know this. I'm an author of two books. Oh. It's The Pastor's Son. Okay. It's on Amazon. This is from an A&E and this is from 700 Club and Rise Up. Okay. On, on 700 Club. So when people say, oh, you know, this is how a and found me in the church. I didn't even, even know 60 Days in existed. Okay. I didn't watch TV. I... I would go to jails, prisons, juvie halls, wherever. You right. know what I mean? I, I would find an addict in the street, and before I give him a dollar, hey, man, let me pray for you. So I've been doing this. So okay. th- even if somebody say, hey, you have it, you, you, or you don't, I, I do it myself. See, the thing with people that they don't realize, I'm not going to sit here and go do like they do on Instagram and go help a homeless person out and, hey, this re- is record it and upload it and all that just to make themselves look content. good. This is content. Yeah, right. this is content. And I see that a lot. Even on my page, 
there's some big dogs in there on my page, right? Verified that do it too. And I'm like, that's not that's not serving Christ. That's not how you help someone. You know right. what I mean? So I want to say just because you don't see it doesn't mean I'm not doing it because I give people their respect, man. They they're homeless, they're down on their luck, you know, and, and, and just just keep it real, man. You yeah. know, that's my passion though. Help it. And I do have a couple projects that are in the works. Okay. And I'll tell you this much. It's in another country, other countries, and it involves real prisons. So we go, we go, we gonna go to another level with it. Cause I, I'm tired of going to little Pinal counties around here. <laughs> and, yeah. and they come back. They come back in a week. They're like, hey yeah. man, Abner, they're back, man. This guy yeah. he's he's on dope again. And yeah, yeah he, he relapsed and he's got a new DUI. I'm like, man, right. well, I thought I really he really had me going and he was gonna change. So but I wanna be do something different. And I think if A and E doesn't reach out to me. They're going to hear about it because even the little buzz I just did with the over 100,000 in less than 48 hours, mm -hmm. yeah, numbers don't lie. So nah, of course we not. Gonna, and, and you know that. You yeah. know that. That's, that's, that's your business, you know? And I, I think I want to do the ministry on another level. Okay. You know? Okay. And, and, and definitely embrace even more than that because right now I think after this, a lot of issues in the United States came about even after everything and i'm not political or anything but right ch change has to come from everywhere yeah, all of us definitely, all of yeah. us you know and, yeah and i, I want to say prison is the number one man these young kids going to jail like it's crazy man like yeah. i was in times square the other day and three people got killed Damn. i'm not not killed but shot in the legs little girl eight year old and by a rapper shooting at his brother. I had the, the footage on my page, but it's crazy. Mm. Like, and it, I think ministry now, and, and if that person that directed that question is Christian, that person needs to know to tell their pastor that it's enough sugarcoating, that the gospel needs to go up. Right. People are tired of it, because people are leaving the churches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after, yeah. After COVID, they're divorcing, like, yo, sign right here, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it's at an all-time high, and sadly, even suicide. Like, yeah, people, people, are like, man, like, put a mask on, walk. Like, it's not that hard, man. We're not in jail. Like, right, right. I'm like, <laughs> what you mean you you got P <laughs> PTSD from from quarantine? What like, quarantine? What? <laughs> I, I'm at home eating whatever Uber eats. Leave it on the porch. <laughs> like, what you mean you got mental problems? Yeah. I, I, when somebody says that, I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm glad you ain't my Cody Fennin in the past. <laughs> I would have been done in, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the cop car. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, and shit. it's sad, man. It's sad. Qu yeah. Quarantine and this is sad, man. But you got to laugh at it and, and, and help people, man. <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, somebody went off, you saw any dirty COs during your time there? Yeah. 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 Uh oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to, I want, I want to, there was two of them. There was the, the one that David was talking to. Okay. He, he was like, he, he was like, you could tell the way he moved, you know, he, he, he going in the female dorm or something. Something's on there. Yeah. Then the, there was another one that we complained even after the show. Oh yeah. I think it was Ramirez. Mm -hmm. Yo, and this guy would bring the food in cold. This guy would be on the phone. He would threaten people, yo, go lock in. Lock the whole unit in. He would come in, right. kick his feet back, and, and, and just get on the phone and lock all of us in. For no reason. Lock for no reason, because they were short on staff. Oh, uh, that was always an excuse, man. <laughs> man, of course, yeah. of course. It, and that one CEO, man, I, I don't know if he's still in Pinal, but that dude needs to go, man. That dude needs to go. It was horrible, bro, that, with that dude. I think it was Ramirez was okay. his name, something like that. But yeah. everyone complained about him, even in the other pods. <laughs> he, he was terrible. He was generally, you know, 
Yeah, evil I mean, some person. CEOs, this shit gets through their head, man. And they feel like they can do whatever they want, and ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, they 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 really do think they're above the law. And I mean, even some parts where they put inmates in there, I remember there was a little old man, and um, I actually gave him a haircut. You know what I mean? They mm. were like, "Man, don't touch him with the clippers." I'm like, "Whatever." Right. I cut it. I cut his hair. We cleaned him up. I gave him food. But it's like, man, have a dorm for for elders. Have right. a dorm for these young kids yeah. because when they're going in there, they're going to learn real quick from these convicts how to be a criminal. Right. Inst- instead of the whole purpose is you do, do your time and go home and rehabilitate. But, the, you know, the structure there is terrible. Yeah. And, and, I mean, Sheriff Lamb does a good job, but he can't do it alone. The, them right. CEOs need to help. But that one CEO, man, <laughs> he was horrible. As soon as he came in, like, the vibes was like, Yo, all the inmates, even me, I, I'm on the show and I'm like, man, this guy really is a dirtbag. <laughs> like, like just, no, I'm like, this is how he is. And I used to sit there and look at him like, does this guy even know there's really a TV show or something? Uh, like, they're watching him? Like, th- oh, this is really him. Like, he would come in lockdown. The toilet was, he wouldn't give us a toilet plunger. There was a scene, I think, with the toilet uh, that I, w- I was mad at, and it was him. Oh. And he waited for the next shift. So we sitting there for a whole shift with two, three turds. Damn. Like, like to the top. Right. <laughs> like, like, I kid you not. Like, put a towel on it. Like, man, like, like, and it was right next to my bunk. So I'm like, man, is is this 60 days in trying to get me amped up? Like, cause, <laughs> you know, they trying to get me riled up up in here. Yeah. But I would say, yeah, I saw a couple CEOs that, that one CEO, I think it was Ramirez. Terrible okay. dude. Terrible. I, I never forget him. Terrible. And then he, it's crazy because even with the Hispanics, he was horrible. Like, yeah. you know how sometimes they play that favoritism because of race when they're right. CEOs? Not this guy. He was just like, mm, like, mm, like mm. It, the badge got to his head, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think that's about it, man. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Um, they want to know where your line was, like how far you would have gone, not to blow your cover or to look credible. Like we know you did the whole thing about Kaika. What, right. what else would you do? Is, is there a line you would not have crossed or is there like, you know what I mean? Would you have went farther if you had to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 and, and there's a lot of footage that didn't show, but I tried a lot of dudes in there. And it was okay. like, it got to the point that even with the situation with Giovanni, you remember he fought Jordan yeah. and he ran out. Right. So that was my chance right there because I'm like, okay, He's in, he's in the blind spot with me. And I'm thinking, because they told us that's a blind spot. Mm-hmm. To, to be careful, don't go there. But yeah. in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm going straight there. Boom. So he's in there, and I question him about the phone. Right. So I'm like, you know, wait a minute. And I, I went and I called him out. And right when I was going to put hands on him, he ran out to the camera. Yeah. yeah. He was. I was like, dang, this dude really is soft. He really did steal the phone time. From, from the kid, Brian, you right. know, and, and Jordan and them. So I sent Jordan, and I was like, Jordan. But in my mind, I'm thinking, if I would have hit him in camera, I'm going to the box. Right. So the, sh- the show's over. Like, I would I would have been like, Robert, my stomach hurts. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? My stomach hurts. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Country yeah. club. Yeah, you know, I... <laughs> then right? they would have been, been filming me like this, like, yeah, man, I'm good, man. Yo, uh, uh, Sheriff Lane, bring me some pork chops, man. Like, you know, you know. So I was like, I can't go to the box because I still got like 20 days left. So I'm yeah. like, I'm like, Jordan, you know, and I, I put the battery pack on Jordan. Right. He, he, I said, yo, man, listen, man, good I got you, man. So when he came out, I even looked out for him. Here you go, man. I, yeah. I kept it 100 with him, dropped the commissary and everything. But in my mind, I'm thinking, I, I can't. But I would have went that far and, and fought uh, 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 Giovanni right there. Because not only was he a Chicano, he broke their their rules and their right. in- laws in that. 
that jail. So it was yeah. like, I had the green light. So it was like, you know. Yeah, he deserved well, it, man. I didn't really care for him at all. Man, he was like, stealing he, he, people's shit. You don't do that. You don't. You don't be a thief. You know what I mean? Especially not I, in there. <laughs> yeah, and I could understand if it because you 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 done time, so you know if it's a dude that grabs his commissary and he just runs to his cell. But it was a dude that generally would ask you, "Yo, you need anything? Let me know." Yeah, you know, like you didn't have to steal from him. He right. he would have gave you phone time. You know what I mean? And it was like with him, it was on on another level. Yeah, but he deserved it. He was. Studio from the front, yo. I'm doing this and that, and you know what time is it? You don't have the time. For me? Yeah. What time uh, is it? You... One fourteen. I was. About, I'm about to wrap it up. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you good. But yeah, man, Giovanni definitely deserved it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I would have. I wanted to put hands on him. I, I would have. I would have. But he ran out the cell. So yeah, I, we had all saw that, the, yeah. I had told the one, the one Chicano Jimmy. I was like, yo, hold the door. And I, I told the shot caller, just stand right here when I we questioned study his body language. It was no study. He was like, yeah, oh. he was out. Yo, he went to the camera. He was like, yo, whatever, man. Whatever you trying to do yeah. in the camera. I was like, oh, studio time. He making a movie. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so Jordan came in and, and and asked me, yo, what you want? I was like, yo, you got the green light. Yeah. He not he not here. He a thief. He like. You, there's a difference between robbing and taking from somebody in right. front of their face than behind their back sneaking. That's yeah. that's that's not that's not prison. Like that's he never done time or nothing. So now mm -hmm. he, he understood because right. you you see how I stood over like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Was, nobody jump for this whoop him. But I, I I think I went as far as I could knowing the situation. But I, I would have fought anybody I, I really you know that's that's what i wanted to do to show how doing time really is right like, you don't go in there and they're cool with you and yeah man let's, you know, we're friends man hey, give me your your yeah. ig and you know whatever nah man it's, it's jail man <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they're taking your food your sneakers all that man like <laughs> but i just don't get it i i would have went i would have went the 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 long run i would have okay. went the long run if they would have put another abner in there it, it, it would have Sheriff Land would have had to came in and say, "Bro, <laughs> this is over in here." Yeah. <laughs> if, if they gave me the opportunity to choose another actor, and yo, which one of your homies? Would, I got a couple that <laughs> would, would would die to be <laughs> on, on sixty days yeah. and make a movie, you know. Yeah. But but I, I would have went all the way, right? Especially now that I know how loyal sixty days in fans and how real they are, bro. It's it's not like any other show. Like right. you have to be unorthodox and you know mm -hmm. to watch the show and be that person to say, "Hey, you know, even yeah. if you're you're a police officer or ex con or not, you you you, it's intriguing to them, right? Mind, you know, right? All right. Well, I guess that's all the questions, man. Um, appreciate the time taking man, out. Man, you already know, man. Listen, yeah. even if I get him. Once, even if I get a million followers, you already know, man. We we take it over TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's you, right. <laughs> yeah, man. You started the trend, man. And they was like, yo, man, you know this guy? I was like, yeah, man. I'm dropping his you crazy, man. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? How the heck you do this? <laughs> but no, nah, man, I appreciate you, man. You already know, man. The love yeah. is mutual. Never from the beginning. I can honestly say, that if anybody should have a job as a commentator for A and E officially, either good or bad, yeah. it should be it, it, it should be you because Appreciate you don't that. sugarcoat it. You call it like it is, right? You know what I mean. And I respect that from you, bro. Appreciate that, man. You know, definitely, man. Yeah, you man. already know you're a real dude, man. Thanks, man. Um, well, I guess that's it, man. Um, you got anything else you want to let the the guy people know? Yeah, man, uh, there's a lot of fake pages, but <laughs> they could go on, on, on Instagram, Abner, 60 Days In underscore, mm -hmm. and uh, TikTok, The Real Abner, 60 Days In. And awesome. That's about it, man. Follow me, follow you. I'm going to send followers out there, too. I'm going to post it and Appreciate it. shoot it out there on, awesome. on the next joint so they could go out there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
All right, man. It was good but, talking to you, man. Yeah, you definitely, do it again, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. You already know. I keep you posted <laughs> even when I start my little thing over there. <laughs> awesome, man. All right, man. Well, I'm out. Like I said, I'll head the video up soon, and uh, catch you later, man. All right, man. Have a good one, you man. Too, man. Straight cholo. <laughs> Straight <All> right. cholo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Have a good one. All right. One. All right.